the God Ed, the doctrine of God, seven day identities believe number two, knowledge of God, the many theories attempting to explain God, and the many arguments for and against his existence show that human wisdom cannot penetrate the divine. We knowledge of God, we cannot love someone we know nothing about, yet we cannot research and find out the deep things of God. Job 11, 7. How then can we come to know and love the Creator? Christianity is not record of a man's quest for God. It is the product of God's revelation of Himself and His purposes to men. This self-revelation is designed to bridge the gulf between a rebellious world and a caring God. The knowledge of God, obtaining a knowledge of God. The knowledge of God is as much as a matter of the heart as it is of the brain. There must be an openness to the Holy Spirit and a willingness to God's will. Unbelievers therefore cannot understand God. Existence of God. There are two major sources of evidence for the existence of God, the book of nature and the scriptures. The existence of God is evidence from creation. Everyone can learn of God through nature. Human behavior also gives evidence for God's existence. The existence of God is evidence from scripture. The Bible does not prove God's existence, it assumes it. God's revelation through creation is so powerful that there is no excuse for atheism. The God of the Scriptures. The Bible reveals God's essential qualities through His names, activities, and attributes. The God of the Scriptures. God's names. The Hebrew names El and Elohim. God's reveal God's divine power. Elion, Most High, and El Elion, God's Most High. Or Focus on his exalted status. Adonai, Lord, pictures God as Almighty Ruler. Other names reveal God's willingness to enter into a relationship with people. The God of the Scriptures, God's activities. Bible writers spend more time describing God's activities than His being. He is introduced as Creator, Redeemer, and Savior. He makes plans, predictions, and promises. He forgives sins and consequently deserves our worship. The God of the scriptures, incommunicable attributes, life in himself. He is independent in will. He is omniscient. God is omnipresent. God is all-powerful, omnipotent. The God of the scriptures, communicable attributes, love, grace, mercy, patience, holiness, righteousness, justice, and truth. The sovereignty of God. The scriptures clearly teach God's sovereignty. It is according to his will. No one can restrain his hand, for you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. The sovereignty of God, predestination, and human freedom. The Bible reveals God's full control over the world. He predestined people to be conformed to the images of his Son. The sovereignty of God, predestination, and human freedom. God may foresee such his individual choice. God will be made, but his foreknowledge does not determine what that choice shall be. Bible predestination consists in the effective purpose of God that all who choose to believe in Christ shall be saved. The sovereignty of God, foreknowledge, and human freedom. God's knowledge about what individuals will do will do does not in interfere with what they actually choose to do. The foreknowledge of the Godhead never violates human freedom. Dynamics with the Godhead oneness. Israel believed there was only one God. The New Testament places the same emphasis on the unity of God. This monotheistic emphasis does not contradict the Christian concept of the triune God or Trinity. Dynamics with the God within the Godhead plurality. Although the Old Testament does not explicitly teach that God is triune, it alludes to a plurality within the Godhead. Various references distinguish the Spirit of God from God. Dynamics within the Godhead relationship. There is no distance between the persons of the triune God. All three are divine, yet they share their divine powers and qualities. Dynamics within the Godhead relationship. While the Godhead is not one in person, God is one in purpose, mind, and character. His oneness does not obliterate the distinct personalities of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, nor does the separateness of personalities within the deity destroy the monotheistic trust of Scripture that the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are one God. Dynamics within the Godhead relationship. Within the Godhead, an economy of function exists. God does not unnecessarily duplicate work. Order is the first law of heaven. 
and God works in order way, orderly ways. This orderliness is used from and preserves the union within the Godhead. Dynamics within the Godhead. Relationship. The Father seems to act as source, the Son as mediator, and the Spirit as actualizer or apply, applier. The Incarnation beautifully demonstrated the working relationship of the three persons of the Godhead. Dynamics within the Godhead relationship. In the economy of function, different members of the Godhead perform distinct tasks in saving men. The work of the Holy Spirit does not add anything to the adequacy of the sacrifice that Jesus Christ made at the cross. Focus on salvation. Christ, the mediator between God and us, thus unites us to the Godhead. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. The good news is centered in a person and not merely a practice. It has to do with a relationship, not just rules for Christianity is Christ.